1980 kicked off the Four Kings rivalry. In the brawl of Montreal, former lightweight king Roberto Duran challenged Sugar Ray Leonard for his WBC welterweight crown. In the infighting classic, Duran emerged victorious. Leonard regained his title in a rematch with Duran, and in 1981, he fought WBA champion Thomas Hearns in a unification bout. Behind on all scorecards, a desperate Leonard threw caution to the wind and stopped Hearns in the 14th. Fresh off his win over WBA junior middleweight champ Davey Moore, a revitalized Duran moved up to challenge undisputed middleweight champ Marvin Hagler. After a surprisingly close fight, Hagler's hand was raised in victory. In the only mismatch that Duran was on the losing end of, Thomas, the hitman Hearns, used his size and reach to overwhelm him. The hitman's guns blazed in the second, and a right hand sent Roberto face first into the canvas. At a time when the best wanted to fight the best, world champion Thomas Hearns moved up to challenge Marvin Hagler. Hagler won by a knockout in the third. This fight is considered by many to be the greatest three rounds of boxing ever. Leonard came out of a three-year retirement to challenge Hagler. Marvin, looking for a big payday, agreed to terms set by Ray. Leonard used these conditions to win a highly disputed decision. Leonard made Hearns wait nearly eight years for a rematch. Fighting at super middleweight, Tommy dropped Ray twice. With Hearns seemingly the winner, the crowd was very disappointed when the fight was ruled a draw. These four men are some of the finest to ever lace up a pair of gloves. They dominated the sport by bringing out the best in each other and putting a show on for the fans. For many of us, it was an honor to watch. This video is my way of thanking them.